Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. We have a wonderful group of uh, kids and a teacher with us this morning. We have Cooper McDonald, Kaylee Laverne, and their teacher, Kim Isaac, uh, from Holy Redeemer Catholic School. Great to have you guys all on the show. Congratulations. This was the project. This is the finished product, the cookbook that everyone has been talking about, class project. Kim, I'm going to let you kind of lead in as to how all of this started. Uh, we received an email from our principal, uh, Chantel Campbell, letting us know about a project called the Entrepreneurial Adventure Program, which is sponsored by the Learning Partnership. It's a program for kindergarten to grade 12 right across the country. Kids get a chance to basically start their own little business or learn a little bit about what it's like to be an entrepreneur, give them an idea, and let them go. And let them go. So you get this, you, you go to class on a normal day, and all of a sudden you get this great new project uh, introduced to you. What was your first thought when you, when you learned about this project? Well, we thought it would be a good idea to like work all together and um, like help those kids, like because um, we sponsor charities with it, because that's part of the mm -hmm. entrepreneurial adventure, and we sponsored Shepherds of Good Hope and Ch the Chio Foundation, and we thought it would just be really great to help out all them. So you know you already have your two charities. You picked out your charities, but then you actually have to come up with a concept. So were mm -hmm. there are lots of different things that were thrown out during the class. Well, yeah, we sat we sat in a class and threw a bunch of ideas around. We we already started like a classroom newspaper. The it, we call it the classroom courier, mm -hmm. and we we used that as an idea. But then we realized it wouldn't. We need to put news in there and if we sell it it wouldn't really be news to some people that would right. happen weeks ago so we came up with the concept of a cookbook to make well and the concept was fantastic as project manager you've had a lot of things to kind of keep going because there was a lot of different groups that had to be broken into a lot of different assignments they had um, seven main teams mm -hmm. that Cooper kind of oversaw and almost like running a small little business they had deadlines to make they had ups and downs they had to work together to pull together and they had a they really pulled it off teamwork was the the main thing right that that was behind all of this? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so you sent out emails, you got great response from the community, even as far as our Prime Minister. Prime Minister Stephen Harper has his recipe in there. You guys are actually going to make, if you can right now, I know that these are um, no-bake energy balls coming to you from Chris and Aaron Phillips, which is yeah. wonderful to see. Yeah. Who wants to start mixing things together? Um, okay. Okay. So basically you start off with a half a cup of chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. So just put it in there. And then you put a th one third of a cup of cran dried cran cranberries and then you put a third of a cup of honey or maple syrup but we're putting in honey all of the recipes are in there you guys this, this is everything that goes in there right yeah so we can toss it all in because it's, we'll just toss it people yeah. have to find out they'll have to buy the book to get the full entire recipe and that's mm -hmm. what you're really hoping Good for idea. right is that you just toss this in because eventually you toss it in you roll up and you get to the energy bars that look like this this is one of many. How hard was it to get so many of these people on board? Because you literally have covered the city, politicians, everyone behind this. The kids emailed and tweeted, used Facebook, as much social media as they can to try and pull in what they call their Ottawa friends. Mm -hmm. So they used their own family and friends as well as many people in the um, Ottawa area and they pulled together over 230 recipes for their book. Was it easy to see it come together? Were there things that you had to figure out, especially too as a project manager, that there was going to be ups and downs with a project like this? Well, mm -hmm. yeah, because we emailed everybody we possibly could mm -hmm. to make it a special cookbook to have Ottawa people from around to be, have those recipes in there to make it a really good cookbook. Who ended up gathering? Who ended up organizing? How did you organize it between desserts and every, everything else? So was that all of your responsibility? Yeah, we separated into different teams and we each worked on a separate thing. Like there was binding, so like get the book all together. And then we had ad spots, so we had some ad spots like... Yeah, you've done mm -hmm. a great job. There are, there's some pages in there with advertisers. Yeah. This right here, hopefully we can get everyone on. This right here is the entire class. That is your grade six class so from Holy Redeemer Catholic School, the grade five, is it grade five, six class? Yeah. Grade five, grade six. Five, six. Congratulations, you've done a great job. I know that they've been recognized with awards and everything already. People can buy these? Ten dollars. Where can they find them? Website. Uh, website cookingwiththeclass.blogspot.ca. You can order them online. There's an order form on there. You're gonna get. I think we got a, we got a future business leaders right here. Thank you so much. And I'm gonna. I know that these are good because I've seen the recipe. <laughs>